Hi, this is Darren with StudioShortcuts.com. Today we're going to look at a couple of freeware plugins from DBlue, uh, Stretch, and Tape Stop. Uh, these are, I believe they're derived from their Glitch program, which we looked at earlier. Uh, <clears throat> they're real simple, real basic, but allow you to, uh, to add some really cool effects and do some sound design type things with them. Um, I've got one running here on a drum loop. Let me turn it on. You can see here, I've got the trigger automated, and you can see when I've got it just on that one snare. But if I turn it on all the way across, you can see it. It likes it when you trigger right on a good sound, and rather than in between on the beats. Anyway, you can um, you can affect the size of the grain to get those cool sort of granular type effects. Now this doesn't just work on drum loops. You can put it on bass lines, all kinds of things. Uh, if you use it on bass, you want to make sure it has have a lot of cross fade on it because you, you'll get clicking. Um, you can see that's a really cool effect. A lot of times I'll just run this on a loop and play with the grain size and record everything and just use whatever sounds good. So uh, that's how that works. Uh, the next one we want to look at is Tape Stop, which is also part of D Blue Glitch. And uh, this one works the same way. You just trigger it, and you can automate this trigger. There's really no interface for it or whatever. And you can hear it have that almost like stopping a record on a turntable. And on this one, you can declick it, but you can also change the amount of slowdown you get how fast it is works really well works great on turnarounds and electronic music or to get a little something more out of a riff or a bass line um, and it's real simple real easy to use and it's totally free so check them out they're free and they're on the web they're on the web this is Darren with studioshortcuts.com